All right, Shalom. First off, and foremost, as always, I want to say, call Hulayim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles of Red Millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, as always, I want to say a shalom to you, Ankim out there, that's pushing his truth through his spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Okay, so this lesson is going to be titled, But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. Okay, and that's a part that is a line which I read in the moment of, you know, um, you know a parable, you know, that Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, uh, excuse me, I say a saying that Yahweh Shai put forth, okay, going in about himself, okay? Yahweh Shai, when he said this, you know, he was, he was, he, he was uh, regarding, you know, of himself, okay? So, without further ado, I'm going to get into the scriptures. And Lord's will, this lesson is edifying to the Lord's sheep, okay? So, this is the book of John, chapter uh, 12, starting at 23. And Yahweh Shai answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone, but if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. Okay, and he was talking about himself because right after, you know, uh, Yahweh Shah, you know, gave the ghost, you know, and finished his course, okay, you know, uh, um, there was a spiritual awakening, you see? Because once Yahweh Shai passed on, okay, uh, uh, men were added unto the churches, okay, and, and 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 the word, you know, it began to spread, just like right now, okay, just like how you know you had uh, you had uh, um, people, you know, be uh, excuse me, you had men, all right, added unto the churches, but just but but uh, Yahweh Shai had to pass away. For us to get this knowledge, you see, that's why it says, but if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. OK, it bringeth forth much fruit. All right. And the uh, the, the fruit that has been brought forth is the, uh, you know, the uh, the servants, the prophets that are out here pushing this word and the spirit and power of you. How about Shemal Shai, about Shemal Rekak Wadash. OK. Because real quickly, to prove that, if you go to the book of Revelation, uh, the fifth chapter, all right, the Revelation fifth chapter, and starting at one, actually, to verse nine, all right, uh, verse seven, all right, this is uh, Revelation five, starting at verse one, okay, just keep in mind. All right, Yahweh Shai had to, you know, pass away for us to receive this knowledge. He had to die, you see, for us to get this wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. So this is uh, Revelation 5 and 1, and it says, And I saw on the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within, uh, within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who was worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the roots of David, have prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in uh, the... Wait, excuse me. Did I pass it? Nope, right, right here, verse 5. Uh, and it says, and, when, and one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, which is Yahweh Shai, the root of David, had prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I behold, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, 
stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of the Most High, sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. You see, so Yahushai, after, you know, he, you know, uh, gave up the ghost, you see, he went back to the spiritual realm, you know, right? And then within those three days when he was up there, all right, he he uh, uh, unloosed those seals for us to receive this knowledge. You see, for us to receive this knowledge and, and you know and, and the wisdom and understanding. That's why you have the spiritual awakening. Okay, that's why you have the you know the the uh, the spiritual exceeding army, the great exceeding army. Okay, verse seven and it says, and he took, excuse me, and he came and took the book out of the right hand. Of him that sat upon the throne. So he took the book out of, you know, so a hey, so the, the Lord gained the book. So excuse me, Yahweh Shai gained the book from Yahweh. You see? And he was worthy to, you know, take the book and know and, and uh, uh uh loose those seals. You see. Verse uh eight, and it says, And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain and hast redeemed us to the most high by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and has made us unto our, unto our power kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth, right, man? So Yahweh Shai was worthy. He is worthy. You see, he's worthy, and that's why he was worthy to unloose the seals. You see, so that's why right now we are preaching out here. You know, preaching. You know the words of Yahweh Shema Shai. Okay, without Yahweh Shai dying for us, dying for the elect, we would not have been able to even preach this word. Okay, but that's why it says going back to the book of uh. Um, John 12 and 24 it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except the man, excuse me, except the corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. And that's Yahweh Shai. Okay? He was speaking about himself. Okay? But he was just speaking about himself in a, par in a uh, parabolic form. You see? Meaning that after he, you know, passes on, okay, much, you know, uh, uh, much, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, brothers and few sisters is going to be added unto the churches, just like today, okay, the spiritual awakening, you see, just like how you had, in which I'll, I'll get, I'll, I'll, in which I'll get an account in a moment in the book of Acts, just to prove how after how Shai passed away, you know, and after, you know, he got beaten back up in the book of Acts. Okay, I'll show you how, you know, uh, you had uh, uh, men, you know, that were added to the church, you see? So, hey, man, hey, uh, uh, just like, you know, Abba Bimis, you see, I, you know, uh, Abba Bimis, which is, it was Elijah, got sent here again, okay? And which, matter of fact, let me get that real quick, because that, that it could tie in as well, okay? Because Yahushai passing away, all right, he, uh... He died for us so that way we can receive this knowledge, man. You see? That's why, you know, uh, uh, you know, like our elders, uh, the apostles and the elders, you know, they, you know, you know, they were woken up by who? We you know uh, by their elders, you see? And and just like, you know, but 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 it's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemar Shai. You see, but that's why the Lord uh, uh, uh you know raises up men. So that way they so that way the the men that he uh um raises up can teach you, you see, and turn you back to Yahweh by Shema Shai. And that's what happened in, in 1969. You know, Abba Bivis was Elijah, got raised up, you know, because it's already right here. This is uh, Malachi 4 and verse 5. It says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Right? So in, uh, so uh, once you know Elijah, Abba Bivens got sent back, you know, and re reincarnated into, into Abba Bivens, you know, by Yahweh Shai, okay, 
that proves that we're, we're, we're already living in the last days of the last days. You see? Because it says, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. All right? And Elijah already came. Right? Verse 6 is the point. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to the fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Right? So, uh, so you had the the apostles and the elders, you know, you had their elders, you see, all right, then so on and so forth. Then you had, you know, then then you had uh, down unto the, our elders who are, you know, Apostle Sahar, Apostle uh, Gabar, Apostle Aryamala, Apostle Rakal, so on and so forth. You know, the 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 the, uh, the uh, elders out from you know Texas and in New York, you know, so on and so forth. Then you had, you know, after. After the apostles, you know, the elder apostles, all right, you had the uh, spiritual awakening in 07, which I just mentioned, like the, the, the elders out there in Texas, you know, you know, California, you know, all those, all those, you know, and elders out here and the bishops. And then you had, you know, us, you know, us younger and, and sincere Akim that, that woke up, that woke up after, you know, the, the spiritual awakening in, in 2007, you see? So it's all a spiritual chain reaction. All right. So after Yahweh Shai passed away, you know, uh, uh, much, uh, much, much fruit had to, you know, be awoken. You know, had to, uh, uh, you know, uh, blossom. Okay, had to be, you know, uh, uh, make ripen and make sweet, if you will. All right, all this fruit, man, and a, and a good movie to watch is the movie uh, Glass. Okay, because if you watch it with a spiritual eye, you know, it, it shows you. It goes into that about how. The word, you know, um, the gospel had got to be preached amongst the world and then the end shall come because at, I don't want to give a spoiler alert if you didn't watch it. But at the, the end of that movie, OK, basically, you know, everybody knew that they were superheroes, that they had superpowers and the whole and the whole world seen them. But you had a sheet of my devil trying to debunk, you know, them, you know, uh, uh, saying that they have superpowers and that basically people, you know, with, with those abilities aren't, you know, they don't exist, you see? So while she was trying to, you know, de you know, uh, um, debunk and tell them that they're crazy, well, the whole time, you know, eventually the word, it got loose and, and, and the word, you know, it, it, uh, it began to spread, okay? And that's just like right now, you see? And real quick, before I get any further, I don't wanna make this video too long for time's sake. This is the book of Acts. Um. Just to make a quick point, okay. Acts 2. All right, Acts 2 and verse. Uh, I'll get to the point. Acts 2 and verse 41, and it says, Then they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day, 3,000, 3,000, excuse me. And the same day, there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Okay, 3,000. Let's get that in the GMT real quick. Okay, just to get a, a more clear meaning of what that means. Okay, because, hey, man, that's, that's a lot of people right there to be added unto a church. Okay. This is the book of Acts 2 and 41, GMT, and it says, Many of them believed his message and were baptized. Meaning what? Meaning, meaning that they were clean through the word. You see, because it wasn't how shy, you know, that, well, ultimately it was how shy to baptize them. But it was, you know, his men, how shy's men, like Peter, you see, because after how shy went on, okay, then the, the disciples became apostles, you see, and then they were teaching, just, just like right now, you see. You know, how shy is not here physically, but you have his men out here teaching the word. And converting, you know, uh, the elect, you know, the hopeful elect to be healed and baptized by the word of Yahweh Shai. And that's what happened back in the days of Acts. All right. And that's why, you know, uh, we say that we're in the book of Acts all over again. Because the same thing is happening just right now. All right. And it says, verse uh, Acts 2 and 41, many of them believed this message and were baptized. Okay. Now, even though, like I said, I believe it was Peter speaking. All right. But. The message is, you know, is, is uh, Yahweh Shai's message. But ultimately, you know, it's the most high Yahweh's message because Yahweh Shai, I believe in the book of John, he says that this doctrine is, is not of mine, but of the one that sent me. But it but it trickles down to Yahweh Shai's message because it's all about rank. 
So Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, then, then Yahweh Shai, you know, put his men on for, for them to preach the word. You see? And it says in about 3,000 souls, excuse me, about 3,000 people were added to the group that day. Okay, so about 3,000 people, you know, in the, in the majority of these men, I best believe, okay, were converted. Okay, and started, you know, uh, breaking bread with the apostles and, and fellowshipping. It says that if you keep going on, but for time's sake, let's get the uh, next precept. Okay, and that's going to be Ezekiel uh, 37. All right, Ezekiel 37. And verse, I start verse 9. And it says, uh, Ezekiel 37, verse 9. It says, then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, son, son, prophesy son of man and say to the wind, thus said the Lord God, come from the four winds of breath and breathe upon the slain that they may live. And I breath talking about the, you know, the breath of life, the wisdom, the knowledge, the knowledge and, and, and understanding of the scriptures. You see, ultimately the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit makes us alive. Okay. Verse 10, it says. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, right? The, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding. You know, ultimately, like I said, the Holy Spirit, okay? And the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. You see? So after Yahushai passed on, you know, more men came into this truth, okay? More believers started to believe, all right? So, hey, man, this word is everywhere, man. That this is the true gospel. You see? This is very beautiful. Very beautiful times that we're living in because we're actually witnessing, you know, a, a, a transition in power from Esau to Jacob. Okay? And more and more Israelites are waking up day by day. And it's a beautiful thing, man. All right? But ultimately... You know the elect are gonna be the, the you know the the ones that are that, that's gonna you know uh, uh, really you know uh, believe man you know and actually you know do the will of Yahweh Shemal Shai okay this is the book of Matthew uh, twenty four and verse fourteen it says. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Right? Because back 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 during when Yahushai was actually walking on earth and the flesh, you see, even though he was preaching, okay, but you know, uh, uh he still had to, you know, um be taken up. You know, he still had to, you know, be crucified. Okay, so him being crucified. You know, he allowed us to receive, you know, us uh, Yahweh Shemal Shai allowed us to get this knowledge. So if Yahweh Shai didn't die, we would not be able to, you know, understand these scriptures. You see? He had to unloose the seals, you know, so that way we may get this word. And that's why he says, in this gospel of the kingdom shall be preaching all the world. Okay, now being that the Lord loosed the seals, you have churches everywhere around the world, man. Whether it be in America. Or not, you name it, G uh, you know, Great Millstone is there. Or should I say, you know, the, uh, uh, well, of course, Great Millstone, yes. But of course, the Ankyum, you know, that, you know, that fall under the umbrella of Great Millstone, you see. And there is, and there are so many, you know, camps out here. All right. So many camps out here. And yes, you know, even, even. Those camps that are that, that are off too, you know, they 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 be doing crazy shit too. But hey, the word is out there. You see, the gospel is still being preached. You know, uh, as far as you know that you're an Israelite, as far as you knowing, you know, uh, Yahweh Shmuel Shai is being preached regardless. You see, so the message is out there, all right. And that proves that we're at the end. And it says, "So you preach in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then." Shall the end come, and we're living in the last days of e of Esau's uh, kingdom? Okay, we clearly live in, in the last days of, in the last days of Babylon of Esau's rulership. Okay, 
So with that being said, I just want to say, call Lam La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. All right. And once again, I want to say, Shalom to you, Ankim out there that's pushing his truth through his spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, excuse me, Rechakwadash, and Lord, will you edify it? That being said, Shalom.